Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, May the 11th. It's year two, it's week five in the Psalm cycle. And it's, or week five in Easter and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 73 and Leviticus chapter 23, verse 1 to 22. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. How good is God to Israel, to those who are pure of heart. Alleluia. Psalm 73. How good is God to Israel, to those who are pure of heart. And yet my feet came close to stumbling. My steps had almost slipped, for I was filled with envy of the proud. When I saw how the wicked prosper, for them there are no pains. Their bodies are sound and sleek. They do not share in human sorrows. They are not stricken like others. And so they wear their pride like a necklace, and they clothe themselves with violence. Their hearts overflow with malice. Their minds seethe with plots. They scoff and they speak with malice. And from on high they plan oppression. They have set their mouths in the heavens and their tongues dictate to the earth. So the people turn to follow them and drink in all their words. They say, how can God know? Does the Most High take any notice? Look at them, such are the wicked but untroubled they grow in wealth. How useless to keep my heart pure and wash my hands in innocence. When I was stricken all day long, suffered punishment day by day. And then I said, if I should speak like that, I would betray all my people. I strove to fathom this problem, too hard for my mind to understand, until I entered your sanctuary and understood what becomes of the wicked. How slippery the paths on which you set them. You make them slide to their destruction. How suddenly they come to their ruin, wiped out and destroyed by terrors. Like a dream one wakes from, O God Most High, when you wake you dismiss them as phantoms. And so when my heart grew embittered and when I was cut to the quick, I was stupid and did not understand, no better than a beast in your sight. And yet I was always in your presence. You were holding me by my right hand. You will guide me by your counsel, and so you will lead me to glory. What else have I in heaven but you? Apart from you, I want nothing on earth. My body and my heart faint for joy. You are my possession forever. All those who abandon you shall perish. You will destroy all who are faithless. To be near you is my happiness. I have made you my refuge. I will tell of all your works at the gates of the city of Zion. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. How good is God to Israel, to those who are pure of heart. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. The Appointed Festivals Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, and say to them, These are the appointed festivals of Yahweh, that you shall proclaim as holy convocations my appointed festivals. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of complete rest, a holy convocation. You shall do no work. It is a Sabbath to Yahweh throughout your settlements. These are the appointed festivals of Yahweh, the holy convocations, which you shall celebrate at the time appointed for them. In the first month, on the 14th day at twilight, there shall be a Passover offering to Yahweh. And on the 15th day of, of the same month is the festival of unleavened bread to Yahweh. 
Seven days you shall eat of unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation, and you shall not work at your occupations. For seven days you shall present Yahweh's offerings by fire, and on the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, <clears throat> Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, When you enter the land that I am giving you, and you reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. He shall raise the sheaf before Yahweh, that you may find acceptance. And on the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall raise it. On the day when you raise your sheaf, you shall offer a lamb, a year old, without blemish, as a burnt offering to Yahweh. And the grain offering with it shall be two-tenths of an ephah, of choice flour mixed with oil, an offering by fire of pleasing odor to Yahweh. And the drink offering with it shall be of wine, one-fourth of a heme. And you shall eat no bread or parched grain or fresh ears until that very day, until you have brought your offering to God. It is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your settlements. And from the day after the Sabbath, from the day on which you shall bring the sheaf of the elevation offering, you shall count off seven weeks. They shall be complete. And you shall count until the day after the seventh Sabbath, 50 days. And then you shall present an offering of new grain to Yahweh. You shall bring from your settlements two loaves of bread as an elevation offering, each made of two-tenths of an ephah, and they shall be of choice flour, baked with leaven as first fruits to Yahweh. You shall present with the bread seven lambs a year old without blemish, a young bull, and two rams. They shall be a burnt offering to Yahweh, along with their grain offering and their drink offering an offering by fire of pleasing odor to Yahweh. You shall also offer one male goat for a sin offering and two male lambs a year old as a sacrifice of well-being. And the priest shall raise them with the bread of the first fruits as an elevation offering before Yahweh, together with the two lambs. They shall be holy to Yahweh for the priest. And on that same day, you shall make proclamation. You shall hold a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. This is a statute forever in all your settlements throughout your generations. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the alien. I am Yahweh, your God. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another in all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, our Lord. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. 
break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on the earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.